It's right on the waterfront here in Long Beach, San Pedro. We have um, so many cars here. This is unbelievable. So anyway, we got a nice Volvo meet today. Let's we'll go around and say hi and meet the people, meet the cars. Give you a little bit of a showdown, what's going on. We'll start with Ron and Anna's Amazon here. This is a 64, 63, which is the last year of that fancy door handle there, or the trunk handle. And they got the grab straps, really cool. Nice interior. On brand with the floor mats. The brass badging is also a nice touch too on these. Uh-huh, we got an incoming. Doesn't sound Volvo y, let's see. Oh my goodness. You hear that turbo whistle? Cool, so it's back to work here and Warehouse One is um, been vacant for a long, long time. Nice grill too, huh? This is, I don't know, 20,000 square feet or something like that, and it's deep. It goes all the way in. Okay. Look at that. So, there's um, a lot of questions that I have and very few answers about what, what it all is, but let's just go around and keep it Volvo here. You know the Ghostbusters, you know Roger's ES, you know Mr. Palmer's 544. Patrick's got this beautiful 960 wagon, which is like a one owner, uh, low mileage. This is Jeff. John's? John's. John's daughter has a very beautiful color combination in here. I like the black half of the seats. Interesting feature. It kind of keeps the cabin feeling different. You know Bruce, 62. Got the couple of videos on this car. I don't really take it out that much. But, um, you know, like an old glove, well worn in. I like the reflection here on the hood. Robert's got the big V8, the 5.7 Vortec. I forget exactly the displacement on this, but it's a great car and he keeps it quiet too, which is what I like about that. This is Jeremy's 91 244. What year was yours also? 85. 85. Okay, I'm gonna get to do it. Beautiful. And the SE has the manual crank sunroof. Oh, I love that feature. And the blue on blue on blue. It's gorgeous, just like the old Beluga. Well, you're quite welcome. Very nice. And then we've got this funky ute. This was in a video for the VSA picnic in Irvine Park in uh, 2021. We've got Karsten's 140. Wow, we got a line down this way too. My goodness. Yogi, uh, you have two Volvos, two 240s? Yeah, the other one's gonna get a S2000 swap. <gasps> yeah, so I have uh, from an AP1. So, and then did they go to a 2.4 later? They went to a 2.2, 2 .2, 2 .2. which is the F22. Okay. Yeah. So mine, uh, or the F20s are known for 9K RPM. Oh my goodness. So this should be uh, a fun one. Wow. Yeah. So I think this was a 71 because the fender badge is the later style, you know, where it goes long like that. But then it's the last year of these uh, exterior handles like that versus being flush like a 240 handle. The early dash style. Beautiful car, huh? This is like mustard yellow. Oh, this is really clean. With the BBSs too, is this, is this Cal? This might be Cal's. Uh-huh, and this is Yogi's 86, it's so shiny. I mean, Great. I think a nice shine is always a winner. One owner car, and it's got a snow scoop. Yeah, no, it's seven. Beautiful. I was trying to get down to six at least. Good work on the shine too, <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, where did you find this? Uh, that was from Red Block. Red Block. It only took two months though. Shout out to Matt. <laughs> only two months? <laughs> only two months. I had to wait like seven. No, I was Quite boost moose. This thing sounded great coming up and I could see why there's a, a wastegate. No, that's the, that's the full exhaust. Wow, right out the hood. 
<laughs> okay. Gnarly. I bet you it's spitting up flames once in a while, too. Detachable steering wheel. And you know what the funny thing about this is? It's got an automatic transmission, huh? Kind of bizarre, right? I'm so used to seeing the manuals get all the love, but it's got an R bumper in the back. Cool. So from here, you can get kind of an idea of the scope of this warehouse. It is gigantic. Six floors. Oh, it'd be so cool to take a tour inside. And they have nets on the balconies here in case you do fall off by accident. One too many smoke breaks. Okay, let's run down this aisle here. Is that a Prius? This is an S60R design. It's got slotted rotors, fun wheels, and a very pretty carbon fiber spoiler. Ooh la la, I love carbon. The way the, the, way the weave shines the light. Like a barracuda with shiny things. This is SoCal Swedes and Instagram JP Volvo. Under construction, that's very cute. This is Jeff's V60 Polestar, and I mean, with the bar and the bolt-ins, it looks like it's just such a fun ride. No back seat, naturally. But look at the diamond plate that's taking up the space in there. Very useful, keeping it. Suede seats. I like the carbon center console. I never knew that they did that on these. There's some nubbies here on this uh, steering wheel. Looks like couple of shapes for the grip. It reminds me a lot of the XC90 steering wheel shape. And then he's got a couple of gauges there to monitor his boost pressure, temperature for the oil, temperature probably for the water as well, a more accurate reading. Extinguisher at the base of the feet. And a harness seatbelt right there through the headrest. They kind of lend themselves to it. Gorgeous. I love that Polestar uh, steering wheel center as well. I wonder if that's a Dave Barton option. And on the shifter, another Polestar logo. So, really cool. I've seen launch control on these where they'll actually start in second gear. <laughs> it's a cool thing to see the engine torque up on the mounts as they're winding up, you know, so you can get a lot of boost for the launch there. Regular? Regular. I'm stepping here just in case. <laughs> Boy, she moves up quite a bit. All right, now this is gonna be full star launch. Wow. Wow. That thing moves a lot. Yes. Wow, gorgeous. It's nice to see that there is, um, you know, Jeff had shared a photo recently where somebody comp on another car complimented him and said, oh, you managed to make a refrigerator exciting or like an appliance interesting, something like that. And, you know, in a way, yeah, cars are appliances, but it seems like a backhanded compliment to say like, oh, you made a boring car interesting because Volvo isn't known for being sporty and sexy, but they definitely have their models like the Polestar trim or the R design. The R design is more of like an appearance package in this generation but the Polestar limited run cars are just engineered to be so much better. This is gonna be one of the electric ones, you can tell, because the grill is a solid color and they look so, so, so good in black too. And now we have another 242. If this is a real turbo, that is an awesome thing to see because the K-Jet systems don't get a lot of love. People get scared and they freak out. Sometimes the cost to repair a K-Jet system it exceeds the means, especially if you're talking about a three, four, five hundred dollar Volvo. But with the prices going up, the appreciation going up as well, it makes it worth it to save the cars, especially the two doors. I think our wheels look great on everything, and this is another reason why. The Pegasus 17s, they look like 17s. Yep, 225 45ZR17. Very clean interior on this one. I'm not crazy about the steering wheel cover, but it blends in. Look at there's an A-pillar three-gauge pod. 
I didn't know that somebody made those to actually fit the car. And it's got a power sunroof. It has an aftermarket stereo. It looks like it's gonna have a screen on it. You can watch a DVD. But the seats, my goodness, clean. Clean, clean, clean. Yeah, and the exterior is clean too. A lot of good shine out of this. Oh, that's a nice badge. Okay. Wow, look at all those silicone hoses. The IPD caps are funny too because they fit a Volvo center cap. This center cap right here fit right into there. I think the IPD machine logo is better though. Okay. Wow, freshly painted block. It's looking pretty sharp here. Nicely done, even the headlights are clean. Yeah, you go girl. Laser blue, yes, second best color for, oh my gosh, an Atacama wagon? Come on, get out of here. Yeah, I didn't even see them pull up, but laser blue is a beautiful color. Um, 2006 and seven, I think were the most common years for the laser blue, but 2007 is already pretty rare to find a wagon. This has the Gobi sand interior. It's got the cargo net. Oh, it's gorgeous. I miss the R's, but the best way to go is a wagon. Now, chances are this won't be Atacama with a six speed, but let's hope. Oh my goodness. That's a rare combo. This is a keeper, no matter what. And when I say no matter what, I mean no matter what. If you gotta change the engine block over, you do it, you keep it. Oh, gorgeous. You know, I'd love to climb on a truck here and get a good shot of everything, because look at this. Yes, wagons. Wow, what a turnout. I just, I gotta climb something. Maybe we can get on top of the duet or take a nice photo of everything. But um, this is beautiful. This is Mark's from, uh, the car is a Washington car. I wonder if he still has the Washington plate on it. Yes, and I can see why. There was a um, New York plate that I think was on a V70, and I think the plate said New York on it. And that, that car. If you like to talk to tomatoes. It was a not interesting car, but the plate was what made the value so high. Somebody out there's got it now. Uh, cool, 740, these hoods go vertical. And uh, I had a 740 in the same color. This looks like Patrick's old one with the fender replaced. I wonder if it is. That'd be interesting to find out. This is the 66. This is uh, Ron. Ron. Ron's got an island up in Washington, island home, and he splits his time in California. And he's got the column mounted shifter. Look at that. I, I like the sticker here that tells you what gear you're in as a replacement for the, uh, the missing piece on the column. Very nice. I like this color too. Kind of grayish. Yep. Okay, Juan and Cindy. Blue is the color of the day here. We've got a lot of, a lot of blue themed cars. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know this car, okay? 
Uh, this is a vinyl wrap green, and they actually did the inside of the doors as well, which uh, why well, I was very confused. I thought it was perhaps originally this color, but it's like a gorgeous six-speed C30. Is this your former 740? Yeah. Cool. What's yeah. the guy's name? Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's so many new people, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah, I see is smoking. Is that a yeah, safety Nice. They're nice. They're nice people. They're nice, good people. Wow. Now that's a boat. Oh.